If you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew, and today we're unboxing some more stuff. Uh, if you guys do not know, tomorrow is a very special anniversary. It is the 70th anniversary of the Godzilla franchise. Yes, in 1954, November 3rd, Godzilla, or Gojira, was released in Japan. And since then, he's basically sparked into a global phenomenon. And with us, we actually have three new figures, which are going to be the new line of Godzilla Funko Pops for the 70th anniversary. We have three of them with us, of course. Um, Godzilla 1954, fittingly. 84 and 99. I originally was going to pick up Shin Godzilla, but unfortunately the place I got the mat uh, ran out of stock immediately after I got there. So, unfortunately Shin is not going to be a part of this, but we'll eventually get him another time because I'm not going to let one figure out of there. So we're going to kind of back up with a much more bigger knife. So let's do this. So first we're going to start with 54, uh, which, uh, hold on, let's actually start from this side just so we can get like a bit of a better angle of like the box itself. I want to like ruin it. There you go. Um, so we just have to literally flip over there. There's no tape, which I initially was not kind of like a huge total fan of these because I just kind of preferred it being a bit more detailed. But honestly, the weight of these, I'm going to put the 54 box off to the side and uh, let's open them up. Oh, you have some weight. Like that is actually pretty heavy. Wow, that is. Yeah, that's actually, this is really good. I like it. Um, very different compared to how the photos presented it. Because, again, I think it's just kind of unfair to compare a render versus an actual figure. Very good. Uh, let's set him aside. Put the packaging away. Next, we got 84. This is my first, um, actually, no, it's not my first 84. I have more 84s. Oh, 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 hold on. Let's go this way. Um... Funny enough, when I was actually there, the cashier was like, oh, you're getting three of them. She's like, yeah, I, they, I asked them if they had, oh, I asked them if they had Shin. Unfortunately, they did not. So that's how I knew. Ooh. Okay, that's just this rattling against the foot. Never mind. I thought there was something that was broken loose. Okay, let's put that to the side. There's a four. And I'm gonna put it on the ground just for now. Oh wow, that is really well detailed. I love all like the scaling on the head. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is these Funko Pops are beautiful. My freaking cat. Like this is actually really cool. I kind of although I do have like one mild gripe, and that's I kind of wish the two Godzillas were a bit different in terms of color. Like, maybe have him, like, maybe spitting out the beam while him, he has the, um, obviously the plane. Just give him a bit more, I know Godzilla 84 didn't really have that much color to him, but maybe make it like a Spitfire, you know what I'm saying? Because definitely on the shelf, these two would almost look the same until you actually get up and close. But, uh, now we have Godzilla 99. This one, this one actually has the sand. I'm just realizing it has a stand. Get away from the bag. <sighs> yeah, cat in the back. Um, let's try opening this sucker up. Nicely done. Let's try out prying it open. Here's the bag. It's a little taped on, a little tacky. Let's try. I don't really understand why Godzilla would need a base. This is the first Godzilla figure of Godzilla to need one. Yeah, oh, great. Leftover residue. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Um, so, let's look at Godzilla himself. Okay, so I can automatically tell you I'm a huge fan of this thing. Wow, like he's got the hunch. He has very well painted uh, crystal-like fins. I will say the detail's a bit odd. Like, it just kind of seems very stretched on the tail. You can kind of see what I'm talking about, but this actually looks awesome. Now, let's put the base on him, because apparently he needs... The freaking holes... 
It's too big. The hole's too big. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's too big for him. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the hole is way too... So the hole is too small for the peg. Although he has no problem with um, this. I mean, he can kind of topple over, but all is good. So, yeah, definitely has uh, some merit. So, putting the packaging aside, uh, I do have one more surprise. And that's going to be the uh, Mothra Squishmallow. Yeah, while I was there, I found this little sucker. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my Godzilla 70th anniversary haul. I... I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with uh, what I got. Kind of wish I got Shin, but I'm happy with what I have. But with that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.